Hello, good day friend. Today we'll talk on parallel computing in C sharp. Parallel computing in C sharp can be achieved in two ways by task parallelism and by data parallelism. So what do we mean by task parallelism? Let me give you an example. Say in an organization employee joining activities is happening. So, what are the activities like onboarding, laptop assignment, payroll integration, desk assignment, and few others. Now, this some of these tasks can be carried out parallelly, like laptop assignment, payroll integration, and desk assignment probably can happen parallelly by different departments. So, here task parallelism is happening. Now, in C sharp, task parallelism can be achieved using task and parallel.invoke method in system.threading.tasks namespace. Now, uh, I have videos on task. You can find the link on top. And so, let us see what is data parallelism. Let me give you an example. Uh, like the task parallelism employee joining activities, say 10 employees are joining. So, uh, 10 employees can be, the onboarding can happen uh, simultaneously for 10 employees. Laptop preparation, say the IT department has 3 engineers and 3 engineers parallelly can prepare um, laptop for 3 employees. So, at a time, three employees laptops can be prepared so here data parallelism is happening in c sharp data parallelism can be achieved using parallel dot for parallel dot for each method in system dot threading dot tasks sorry it should be tasks namespace so let us see data parallelism in action